Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Today we're privileged uh, to have uh, one of the biggest uh, YouTubers hey. in, in uh, yeah, sure. African continent. Madu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, why me? With, with, no, <laughs> with, no, with no further ado, okay. kindly let, uh, let him introduce himself. Okay guys, my name is Kenneth Mwache from Nigeria, a, tra a traveler from Nigeria. And this is my first time here in Villa Medellin. I've been traveling around Kenya for the past three to four months. I've been going to different places in Kenya, different towns. Uh, I've been to all the cities, the five cities, Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru, and uh, Edoret. I've also been to Kakamega, uh, been to Nakuru, um, Nayuki, I've been to uh, Embu, Meru, Tika, Kericho, wow. Kisi, Abita, you've traveled, Omabe. You've traveled even more than most Kenyans. Right. Wow. In I also went to country. Kogelo, that's uh, Obama's uh, yeah, And I've been to there's a place in Kakamega, a new city in Butere. Uh, uh, Butere. Uh, Mwale. Mwale. Yes, Mwale Medical Mwale. and things. Oh, the, 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 yeah, the yes, American the new city. Yeah. Yes, I've also been the Mwale there. City, yeah. So I've been traveling around the, Kenya. Hospital is uh, for the next time. Ah, so right. actually right now you've uh, yeah, nah, relocated yes, to it. Kenya or something? Not relocated, I'm just traveling, uh, discovering the world. So, so far you've been in Kenya for how long? Going to four months now. Four months right now? Yeah. Because I was in Kenya for like two months, I left Uganda uh -huh. and came back again. So right now you're still exploring, uh, exploring yes. Kenya? Yes. So, rate, us, rate Kenya out of ten. Man, I would say 10 over 10, man. Africa is beautiful, yes. Mm -hmm. Because they are, they are very welcoming. They are so nice to foreigners, you know. So, 10 over 10, man. Yeah. That's the thing, honestly. So, from the different cultures, which cultures uh, have shocked you in a bit? Actually, I, I've, I've been to so many tribes. Like, I have some favorite, like my favorite city, uh -huh. here in Kisumu. Uh -huh. I've been to, I've been to, I have a lot of friends who are new. Mm. And they say there's this uh, saying that the Luo people of Kenya yeah. and the Igbo people of Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Have some, and I'm, I'm an Igbo, yeah. so I've been to Kisumu for more than seven times. Mm. I have some friends over there. Mm. But when it comes to food, my best food in Kenya is Mokimo, which now, is from, from Kiku, 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 central part of Kenya. Exactly. So this, I thought yeah, it would be, I thought it would be from the same place you love, which is Kisumu. No, it, no, it's not necessarily. Mm. The the country has varieties. Mm -hmm. So you can love one here, love one here, love uh, one here, everywhere. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So we have the best city you love, best food you have. Exactly. Uh, as a man, as a Igbo, Igbo man, I've been following Igbo, you guys. Igbo, Igbo. Igbo. Yeah. So the G, the G is silent, right? Yeah. No, G is not silent. In Igbo alphabet, mm -hmm. we have G. Uh -huh. G is the one single G. Uh -huh. Then we have B. Uh -huh. B is GB. Uh -huh. Then we have B. Uh -huh. We say GW. When you say Igwe, uh -huh. you use GW. Uh -huh. It's one, it's two letter, but it's, it's one letter, one, one sound. It's one letter, yes. Where you go, you say uh, Abu uh, Where you say Gwe Gwe. Uh -huh. So it has, it's, 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 it's two, uh -huh. but it's one letter. Uh -huh. I understand. I yes. understand. So when you say Igbo, it's one, one letter. Uh, okay. The G B is uh -huh. Bu. If you say the G, it's G. Uh -huh. <laughs> so having been following you guys, uh, I know men, men from uh, Igbo. Yeah, Igbo, Igbo, <laughs> Igbo. Okay, Igbo. No, 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 no problem. Even, 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 right even in Nigeria, uh -huh. where you're in Lagos, uh -huh. you're, you're about to put, you know, in Nigeria, how? Yoruba, 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 Igbo, Igbo Aosa. Yeah. We have like seven hundred tribes. Uh -huh. yes, but when you're in Yoruba, Nigeria is big. Eh? They call, yes, we have about, about two hundred million. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. So when you, if Lagos alone is 20, 27 million people, oh, only in Lagos is, states. That is oh. like uh, the Kenyan population. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, is 40, 40, 40, I know we are forty five. So you know, when, you, is, when uh, you are when you are, for example, when you are in a, when you are in, in Lagos states, rather of call Igbo, they call it Igbo. Mm -hmm. They only say the only be Igbo. Uh -huh. So I won't blame you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so knowing knowing no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no uh, <laughs> So now we have your uh, Best meal, yes. best city. Yes. Uh, Maybe I'm a, I'm a, I'm a end up marrying marrying a Kenyan. Oh, so which that will be so according to what you're you counting of what you've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> which 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 culture, which tribe has been actually in terms of ladies? In terms of ladies, it should be 
a Kenyan, not necessarily in the particular tribe, because all Kenyans share common culture, one thing in common, mm, exactly. which is so might in be, terms of ladies. Yeah, what I really realized. They are friendly, uh -huh. just that most of them don't know how to cook. <laughs> they don't know how to cook? <laughs> really? Those are slackwits. <laughs> but if you get one you from the village... You're meeting the wrong ladies, bro. <laughs> they will be like... They will be like uh, huh? yeah, they, they, most of the carry feminists for their head. Ah. Well, this, this, this is Africa. Ah, I understand. <laughs> this is Africa. You have to be like Africa. But that means <laughs> you've been meeting the, the ones from the towns, mostly. Or well, mostly. Because you city. have been traveling maybe to the village, village kind of... Uh, city uh, areas, you yeah. could be finding those ones who are able to cook. Guys, yeah, uh, we we'll go to village to hunt for wives. But you are in the village now. About, which ladies have you been meeting? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think I think uh, you should go around the, the Nyabuansa village. Actually, yeah. Now that uh, you are around. Who is a village cook, actually? Mm, uh, I know the African village cook. Yeah. yeah. So have you visited you, uh, the lady? this video and you are saying Kenyan ladies don't know how to cook, she'll be like, what? No, what I, I didn't mean the lady. The ones I've met, they are a lot more like they carry the feminists in their head. Yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah. That's what I Those understand. things are the Western things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, Africa is Africa. Uh -huh. And there should be a gap. Uh -huh. When you're in Rome, you, be, you be, act like a Roman. Yeah. When you're in Africa, be like African. When you're in the Western world, you can do the feminists, whatever. But yeah. you're here, you're a woman, you're a woman. Uh -huh. You can't compare yourself with a man. Yeah. In fact, in Africa, women has more power uh, than men. Right now, yeah? The girl child. No, it, that's how Africa has to be. Africa has been. Mm -hmm. Women uh, have, uh, uh, have more power than men. Mm -hmm. But when you try to compete with men, you're diminishing yourself. Yeah, sure. Because you're supposed to be more powerful. Yeah. A home where you see a very good woman, the home is together. Mm -hmm. Because they are, they are powerful enough to bring the home together. That's mm -hmm. how powerful women are. But this one who had to say, man, I don't cook. Yeah. Um, uh, you go cook. <laughs> you go cook. Oh. You go cook that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the so is there anything that you, you came across whereby uh, a lady was uh, a bit of more westernized? A lot is there anything that you can share kindly? No, no, no. That's between me and her. <laughs> you don't have to mention the name, you just no, 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 experience. No, no, no. Just just take it that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he might be, he, so no one can gossip. I won't turn the react, reactor channels. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so in terms of uh, uh, development here in Kenya, how can you like uh, compare it with uh, Nigeria in terms of development? In terms Actually, of transportation? Kenya, Kenya is developed, uh -huh. but I don't like comparing African countries uh -huh. because if you go to Nigeria, Nigeria is also very. Developed. Nigeria capital is one of the most developed capital in Africa, if uh -huh. not the world. Okay, sure. Understand? But you don't compare. Mm -hmm. They all, have, to yes, they all have their different their differences mm -hmm. and their uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So you don't compare. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, you, you, guys to come, you guys need to come to Nigeria. Sure, sure. Imagine as a, as a Kenyan, yeah. if you go to Nigeria, they will watch you more than they watch a Nigerian. Sure. Because yeah. as a Kenyan, they want to see what you're talking about Nigerians. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, want to go viral, mm -hmm. you visit Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Then after you visit Nigeria, you visit Ghana. Mm -hmm. Because that is more like a trick. Uh -huh. People have seen you see, being in Nigeria. So they ought to see how because there's this in West Africa, there's this battle or ending battle Ghana between Ghana and Nigeria. And Nigeria. Yeah, that's yeah. True. So when they have seen you in Nigeria, they want to see you also in in, in Ghana uh, to see the differences. So uh, if you do that, your channel will skyrocket because Nigerians and Ghana will they will come there to fight. Uh, By doing that, they will catapult your videos. Uh, yeah, no. So if you and, and as a Kenyan, you don't need visa to come to Nigeria. Sure. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. about that. Actually, no, it's just a ticket question. Bro. Ah, is this on arrival? I don't need visa. Just like me, if I'm going to Kenya, mm -hmm. that's an e-visa. Mm -hmm. Apply, get it in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, just don't need a visa. It's visa on arrival. Oh. You are Nigeria. You come to Nigeria. It's visa on arrival. Mm -hmm. Go to the airport. They stamp you. Go to Nigeria. Which is how much? How 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 much? In terms it's, not, of it's not expensive. It's less than yeah. hundred dollars. Oh. Yes. Very very very. It's not expensive. Okay. Oh, okay. You really have to pay just for you to pay for flight tickets. Oh. The and for that, so. Okay, and in Ghana, do you need a visa too? I don't, I'm not sure you need a visa. That's a Kenyan. Because, no, I mean, I'm a Nigerian. I'm a West African. So you don't need a visa to go to, like, go to Ghana. So, but you can check. I'm not sure as a Kenyan you need a visa to go to Ghana. Sure. Okay, that's something we, we have learned. Remember, in this YouTube channel, it's all about educa uh, education, entertainment, inspiration, and motivational stories. Yes, vibe and inshallah. Yeah, <laughs> positive energy is all. Yes. Yeah, so another thing I uh, was to ask uh, maybe, uh, you know, they say Uganda is the palm of Africa. So I've never understood 
Why they say that? Do you know why they say that, bro? No, no, no. Have you ever heard that? Like, you're gonna yeah, in the yeah, palm yeah. of Africa? Yeah. But you, you, you're gonna is good. You're gonna is good. The people are nice. The people are better than the politicians. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> With the people, because my first, my first week in Uganda, we got detained. I'm not sure I'm seven is really? not here. Yeah, we were making video in public place. We were giving out, I was giving out 100k to students uh -huh. to answer questions. Oh. So the police see us with money. They feel like, ah, this is nice. You know, when, they, when they see Nigeria outside, they feel like Nigerians have money. Oh. So they see us, I, I have money. Uh -huh. The money we are giving out to students, they took the money. Oh, sure. <laughs> 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 Who took the money? benefit from the money. Yeah, imagine. Ah, <laughs> so poor of them. So, but when you, when you meet the locals, uh -huh. you enjoy yourself. They are so nice. They are so nice, welcoming. So, you can say, like, uh, the, the police are the ones who are a bit rough on you. I think the, the lawmakers. Uh -huh. That was my. I was, I was, I was, I was to stay like. Three months in Uganda, uh -huh. because of me personally, I don't like anything that takes a police station. Uh -huh. Even my own country, I've never been to uh -huh. a police station. So you were you taken to a police station when you were there? We were taking yes, now for how long? We spent like this one hour, one hour thirty minutes. They we say we are trying to overthrow their president. Really? <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to cause strike to oh, overthrow no, their no, president. No, no, no. I was like, are you guys serious? And who came for a rescue? Actually, I had a friend, a, a girl, a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Her father. I works with the president. I think she's one of the president pilots. Oh. So I called her. She called her father. Her father called it for this. Oh. Thought they shot in everything. Good morning. The like, importance of networking, guys. Mm, that is yeah, it. Sure, yeah. That's the importance <laughs> of networking. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure without that, without that, without that call, yeah. we might have even been in, in police station for long, uh, for a long duration, yeah, right? Exactly. Because there was, a, there was even a, a Ugandan who went to Rwanda. He was a Ugandan YouTuber who went to Rwanda. He was in prison for most, more than two weeks. Two weeks? Man. You might know him, U UG Connect. I'm sure oh. you go have been there, brother. <laughs> Is it? right now. You go have been in, 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 uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. 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 Oh. Exactly. Uh, exactly. That is crazy. But for That's Kenya, crazy. what can you say about Kenya? In terms of I've never had any, for any account, any bad news. Even when I was coming from, because I, I entered through Busia border, mm -hmm. so when I was coming back, it was so mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you, did they ask for mm -hmm. visa and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, I got the visa already before coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you applied. Once you have your document or you have a stress story, I think it's so smooth. Mm -hmm. It was smooth. Even when I was coming from the airport, I came from Rwanda mm -hmm. to here. Mm -hmm. So it was so I took more than, less than, less than five minutes mm -hmm. to go through all the customs and immigration checkpoints. Mm -hmm. It was so smooth. So big up yourselves, Kenya immigration, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big up yourselves, you're doing a great job. Kindly let's uh, uh, make our visitors feel at home whenever they visit, because apparently our head of uh, uh, interior, uh, not interior, uh, foreign affairs, foreign affairs was saying uh, returning visitors. Usually, the, the percentage of returning visitors is less. Is less cause. Yeah, because of the, the checkpoint also. Like when, when I was living. When I was leaving Kenya to, to Uganda, uh -huh. I had a little problem whereby my my passport uh -huh. from when I was coming from Rwanda, I was stamped for as in May. Uh -huh. May as I, I was stamped uh, May, uh -huh. which which was fifth. Uh -huh. But in the in the when they stamped fifth, uh -huh. when she was writing by row to sign, uh -huh. she wrote three, which is March. Uh -huh. So the, the stamp was complete, conflicting with her pen. Okay, no. So when I was living, when I was going to Uganda, they were like, uh, "How can you have three? You came here on the on the match. Yeah, have it sure. overstayed." Yeah. I was like, "Check your computer. Check your system. Yeah. This is my visa. Is it? But it was issued. I have to even pay money. Oh man, to escape that because it was in your system. Yeah, sure. Is there fifth, five, which yeah. is May? Uh, May. So the woman wrote. It was a pen by her. She wrote. Yeah. If if I wanted, I could have just changed the three to five. Yeah. But, but I didn't have left, such intentions. And I left you because I know she made a, on, a mistake. mistake. Yeah. But you, even your system, it was shift. So they, have, they have no reason yeah. to go about it because they need, they wanted that money. Uh, that was what they held me and I gave them money. Yeah. Yes. So that's a little bit of thing which I believe they will correct as we move on. Yeah. So um, we were telling us earlier on that uh, in Nairobi there is a, a place where you call it 
Lagos in Nairobi. Lagos in Nairobi. Yes, more like a Nigerian city, mini city where you can get from it in Nigeria. Um, if you're an artist, you're, you like Afrobeat sound, mm -hmm. you can go. There's a Nollywood uh, Nigerian producer uh, studio there? over there. Uh -huh. You can give your sound. If you want Nigerian food, uh -huh. Nigerian haircuts, Nigerian clothes, uh -huh. everything in Nigeria, you can find it there. Lagos in Nairobi. Oh, wow. Near near the west Westland. Uh -huh. It's not. It's not. It's just around Westland. Okay. Actually, I didn't know that. Me, I used to think you guys are just scattered in Nairobi. I didn't know there is a place because me I come from Nairobi, and I didn't know that there is a place where literally Nigeria is in Nairobi. I didn't know that. Uh, Lagos Nairobi is also a business. Uh -huh. Someone's business. Uh -huh. uh, you have anything in Nigeria there? Okay. So talking of, I heard it and I was like, what do you mean by Nigerian haircut? As in bab Baba, Nigerian Baba, all those things. No, it's not the same with, with, with Kenya. Is there a specific haircut where if you t you do, it will simply uh, tell somebody that you're Nigerian? <laughs> you know, when, when you're babbling with a Nigerian Baba, mm -hmm. it's different from Kenyan Baba. So if you want a Nigerian kind of haircut, haircut. or you, have, you want Nigerian bread, uh -huh. if you're a woman, you want Nigerian bread, uh -huh. or just a hairstyle, uh -huh. you go there, uh -huh. you have it. Anything you want. For braids, I can understand, but in terms of male, I thought just a haircut is a haircut. There can't be a Nigerian They, they have Afro, they have a Godumakba, they have everything you want to buy. Ah, so, so you what's your haircut? Uh -huh. So you just go there, you'll see different types, you point, you'll bab you. But what I'm saying, anything in Nigeria, even Nigerian car wash, anything. Ah. <laughs> so it's your, ah, that's it's totally it's business right now. Yes. It's your haircut in Nigeria. <laughs> Yeah, it's still in Nigeria. Can we, can we see it? No, you want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it, 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 it is a disrespect yeah. Yeah. for an Igbo man to remove his car for... I uh, unless unless a, 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 a high rank person oh, okay. or an yeah. elderly person. Oh. <laughs> ah. So, uh, is it like a religion for a man, uh, Igbo uh, man to... Wear, uh, um, no, it's not, it's not, it's just a, you know, a lifestyle. A way it's of a life. lifestyle. Yes. So it's a, it's a decision one, one makes. It's not a decision, it's more like a, a way of life. Uh -huh. How people. But no, when, when you are here, uh -huh. you have to behave like people here. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's just a lifestyle. Oh. I, 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 when you say that, I thought maybe for Igbo men, they have to, you know, protect their hair. Like the Muslim no, no, ladies. No, 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 no. It's more like a. Person just come, person just come and remove your car policy. Son, son of disrespect. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's you only take your hat off when you're greeting a person of high rank uh, or sure. elderly person. Yeah, I understand. Like for Nigeria now, for Yoruba people, yeah. they want to greet you as elderly person, they will, they will lie down on the floor. Really? Yes, even if you they, they, they wear white, they have to lie down to greet you. Even in this generation? Yes, I guess it. They have to lie down to greet you. Me, as an Igbo man, if I want to greet an elderly person, I have to hold my hand. I have to. Yeah, that one you, I know. Uh, you bend that, you go there a bit, don't buy. Yeah. So it's just a way of life. You just have to. Learn. Me, I thought that is with the Uganda uh, ladies. Uh, no. But they, did you experience that? Whenever they serve you, the ladies have to bend. Know, bend. I think it's an African. Africa is one. It's mm -hmm. an African thing. There's a, there's an element of every everyone's culture in Africa. Oh. So we share the same thing. Even your names, your your in your. I was when I was in Kogelo, I was with Obama's. Step brother, uh -huh. he was telling me about how you how you went to Nigeria to study the Igbo Igbo culture uh -huh. because he seen that there's a similarity between oh. the Igbo culture and, and the low culture, culture. Which is low. Uh -huh. So that is not just the Igbo and low in all Africa. Mm -hmm. There is a, a similarity in uh, because we're African. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe a quick fire. Uh, maybe if you can tell us, you love football. No, I prefer cartoon. Cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> man, I know Nigerians with football. <laughs> like, I don't know. You're saying I'm different, man. You're different. I, you can see Chelsea and Baka play serious Champions League final. Uh -huh. I'll be watching cartoon instead. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. no, no, I'm not a football fan. I don't oh. like football. <laughs> Actually, me personally, from what I usually see from the TVs, yeah. I usually see like Nigeria is all a football nation. Yeah, That's people people love Nigeria love football a lot, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not everybody. Just like me, I don't like football. Mm -hmm. So it's just a personal choice. It's just a personal. Decision. So which sport do you like? Sports. Yeah. 
Oh, me, I prefer more basketball, oh. or golf, oh. things like that. Yeah, for, for, for basketball, which team do you support in the NBA? Le- Le- Lakers. Lakers. <laughs> uh, everybody will say Lakers just because <laughs> of the good players it has. No, yes, I just like Lakers. It's all about the joy that comes up when you're watching, watching them. them. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Like football, like I can sit down and watch Messi. Mm. No matter where he is, where he was in Baka, watch where he was in PhD. Yeah, sure. If I want to play PS2 mm. or PS4 mm. if, or PS5, uh. if I don't use Messi, I cannot play. Uh, so <laughs> you're a Messi person? Uh, I like Messi. So. And like my guy here, Ronaldo Cristiano. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. The goat, the goat is Messi. Yeah, really. The goat is Messi. <laughs> what, what, what makes you okay. say so? Everything. Messi is, has the has embodiment of a star. Uh-huh. Both okay. community. Talent, yeah, let's, let's, let's not talk about Messi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm a Ronaldo fan over here. So, um, sorry, no, cut you short. Okay, okay. No, no, no. So, I wanted to ask you about uh, the Papi Chulo, you know? Ah, no, Papi Chulo. Papi Chulo, that's the uh, Timaya. No, no, no. The other guy who was arrested in Dubai. Oh, hush puppy. Hush puppy, hush puppy, man. <laughs> kindly in letters. For people who don't know, kindly in letters about him. Just the knowledge you have about him kindly i don't have much but he's just a young guy mm-hmm. who who is try who is trying to survive yeah. then you know there are, there are so many smart people in nigeria yeah sure nigerians an average thinking nigerian mm. can compete outside nigeria yeah sure you understand that's why if you see a nigerian who is good mm. they are good to a fault they are 100 percent good yeah. but if you see the bad person mm. he's 100 percent bad yeah. <laughs> there's no in between for a nigerian yeah. <laughs> there's so, no sitting on the fence so the smart ones are we are all very smart but it depends on what you what you want to use your smartness for uh-huh he may choose to use it for scamming uh-huh. and you can see he he, he succeeded with uh, doing it yeah, sure. <laughs> understand so from lagos to i think uh oh malay malaysia, malaysia yeah. with uh i think the person that took him out was uh mofa uh-huh. i don't know if you know mofa i know him mofa was born he was uh, from malay he went to Dubai. Oh, Dubai. He has been doing this for some years. They say every day for the thief, one day for the owner. Yeah. He has been there doing his living large, large life, even in certain Nigerians who are working hard, genuinely. Yeah. Sure, I saw, but, but I saw in a day, Fino, you know, people like Fino. Fino, Fino even sang song for him. Ah, really? Yes, now that time, before he got arrested, uh-huh. he said, he sounds like a... Uh, you don't get job, you just they spend money. Yo. Yeah. Which more like, you don't have a job, but you're spending money. Yeah. One day, one day. Moki go go market, you know the turn back. Uh-huh. So what he prophesied in that song happened. Yeah, sure. Because he has been doing that thing, but during that COVID, mm-hmm. he the money that US government was giving to people, uh, palliatives, uh-huh. he, he impersonated the people and collected the money. Really? By billions of dollars. That was what got him arrested. What what got him? Oh, he played the wrong people. Yes, but he was given eleven years, uh-huh. which I'm sure in the next six years he will come out again. He will come out. I saw 50 Cent saying he'll do the, 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 the series. What, what kind of a series based on Hush Puppy? Yeah. But Hush Puppy, yeah. what he said about Hush Puppy mm. is actually wider than just Hush Puppy. When he said Hush Puppy, mm. he's actually referring to scammers in general. Yeah. I saw actually it brought a wider uh, range in the youth from Nigeria. People now are coming. It's, to not, it's not wider. It's, no, you say ba- bad has more publicity. They say the Yahoo boys. Yahoo boys are not that much. In Nigeria, people who do Yahoo. Mm-hmm. If Nigerian youths are 70 million, mm-hmm. people they are, they are not up to 5,000. Mm-hmm. But when one person do one bad thing, mm-hmm. you know, it's so st- it stands a lot of people. people yeah, sure. you understand? Not that they are much. Not that bad news travel faster yeah, than sure, sure, sure. In Nigeria, the, the biggest tech company in, Niger- in the whole Africa, uh-huh. they are from Nigeria. Oh, nice. Yes. Even your, your president, He's an in-law to Nigeria. Because her daughter, yeah, 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 sorry, his daughter is married to a Nigerian yeah, sure, sure, man. Sure, sure, sure. So if there are so many big companies, the richest man in Africa is a Nigerian. Yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of good things coming from Nigeria, but like always, people focus on the bad. Oh. The bad travel faster. So Hush Puppy is just like the Nigerian, more some of the scammers out there. Not just if you talk about scammers. Nigeria, Nigerians, Niger, people in Nigeria, they're not the, the, the best scammers. Yeah. Indians, these guys come. Sure. US. But uh, people, people <laughs> are asking, why was this guy showing it off on social media? And he knew, he knew he's a scam, mm-hmm. surely. Yes, yeah, so you, don't, you don't have your work, you're spending money, you're, you're lavishing, insulting people who have worked hard for their money. Yeah. That's, what, that's why most, most East African girls, 
they, they keep crying for heartbreak. Yeah. Because they, they look out for Nigerians who are scammers, who lavish money, yeah, who go to who go to club, yeah, lavish one one hundred thousand Kenya shillings yeah. in one night. Uh -huh. So that it, it should be questioned. Yeah. First of all, works are very hard to get to earn money. Yeah. Just we just waste it. Like sure, that. sure. You understand? Actually, so, so I saw that I saw that in Kiza. I think or was it big club in Nairobi? It's a luxurious mm. uh, club. Yes. Where, where, uh, whichever club you go to, even in South Africa, mm. wherever you go to, you see Nigeria, they lavish money. Okay. But most of those guys, they are mostly affiliated to politicians. Or, oh, or they do it to scam. Mm. But when you see a good one, the good ones they spend money, but they spend with sense. Yeah. Then just lavish money like that. They want to spend with sense. Oh, so the girls from the, the from this part of the world, yeah. when they see Nigeria, they, like, they follow the ones who are into this scam. Yeah. So when they go heartbreak, they yeah. judge, they blame the whole Nigeria. Yeah, I should have seen that actually. <laughs> Once one, especially if she is a celebrity, mm -hmm. she'll be like, "You guys, not that Nigerians, yeah, they're yeah. all scam." But she was busy doing good digging. Yeah, looking for. <laughs> Looking now, for money. They say she got her own medicine. Mm -hmm. You got your breakfast yeah. <laughs> very hot and cheap. <laughs> so and you're crying, Nigerians. They go, they go telling every lady, don't try Nigerian men. But, but actually, they don't listen to them. Nigerian men, they treat their women very good. Yeah, sure. So even at that, they're still going for Nigerian men. Yeah. Because I've seen a lot of Kenyans getting married to Nigerians. Actually, uh, I can confirm this. You know, the guy, I've forgotten his name. Uh, because you are my African queen. Two face. The yeah, two face. To Baba. To Baba. Yeah. Did, did, did uh, is she is he with the lady she married from Kenya? Are no, they together? He, he married a Nigerian and my colleague. Annie. Ah, sure. My colleague, yeah, Nigerian. I used to think she married a lady from Kenya too. No, no, no. Way, way, way back. No, no, no. Okay. He married a Nigerian, but he has given multiple men. Belle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has been all over. Pregnant to multiple women. Oh. So maybe one. It's a Nigerian maybe, thing, I think. Or it's, an it's, an Nigerian, it's a Nigerian thing. It's not African. It's, it's, an, it's an individual decision. <laughs> it's an individual decision. <laughs> it's a Nigerian thing. So did he break his family or something? No, no, no they're still together. The woman loves him. Yeah. Anne, Anne loves him, so they're still together. Because oh. mm -hmm. I think uh, that guy was one of the. He's um, among his. Uh, African pioneers in terms of uh, music to Baba. But yes, he's a yes, one of the legends we have in Nigeria. Pioneers, right? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, he's a legend. you mentioned earlier the richest man Thank from you. Africa. Mm. If somebody doesn't know, kindly let him let them know. Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Go and Google it. Ask who is the richest man in Africa. Just <laughs> make your Google. They will show you. So in, 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 in Nigeria, which business does he have that's the biggest that you can say helps him to do? He has a cement. Dangote cement, uh -huh. sugar, uh, uh, many things. He uh, said a lot of but things. cement is and the one. Yes, yeah, it's, it's more like cement. But now he also built a refinery, uh, like a refinery or a, oil in Lagos State. Uh, so he's, he's a big name. I yeah, sure that one you know. The second person I think is a Mark Adinuga. The Same owner? from Nigeria or yes, Ghana? Nigeria. No, Ghana. The the top five richest men in Africa. They're not. I think they are Nigerians or something. So the, 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 the thing is that the, the, the truth is that yeah. Dangote is actually the richest just in book. Oh. Because if you're looking at the richest men in Africa, yeah. they are in Nigeria, but they are not in Forbes list. Oh. Meaning they are rich and they are, they are one man called Arthur, Arthur Eze. Uh -huh. If you go to meet him, mm. if you see him with your eye, yeah. you must go home with millions. Really? You give money like nothing. You, you can see like, ah, yeah, young man, how are you? Yeah. Have you married? No. Go and look for a wife. Mm. Take 10 million. Yeah. Look for a wife. Come. Naira or for dollars. Naira. Ah. So he prefers to give money. So there are so many billionaires. But if someone is someone, somebody is not in, in, in Forbes, it means the money is not clean no, or something. No, it's not like it's not clean. Some losers, they don't, they don't care about your list of Forbes nothing. He owns the biggest oil well in Africa, in West Africa. Uh -huh. They don't care about the about your state as about your what your papers say about them. They are, know that they are billionaire. They don't care about the paper. Uh -huh. You understand? It doesn't mean some people just care about it, but then they are just low key billionaires uh -huh. with something with legal businesses that they are not. Because I had for you to be in Forbes, you have to apply papers, send this thing. They, they, don't, they, papers don't, have, they terms, don't have that time. Yeah, they don't have. In, in where I come from, Ibo, they don't call Ibo apprenticeship. Uh -huh. Most of those they don't they don't go they don't, they don't go to schools. Uh -huh. they, they only do apprenticeship, uh -huh. whereby you make money uh -huh. and uh, you go to your village, mm -hmm. you call some, you bring out some youths, mm -hmm. 
they work out, they serve under you for like five years. Yeah. After the five years, there's no monthly salary. They call it apprenticeship. Yeah. After the five years, you give them like 20 million naira. Uh -huh. Give them goods. Give them give them a store. Mm -hmm. Set to them. Uh, Once they serve you for five months, yeah. five years, mm -hmm. you settle them, they become millionaires, oh. have their own businesses. That's how most yeah. people, people mm -hmm. of Nigeria became billionaires oh. through apprenticeship. Oh. So most of them don't even go to school to apply for four or anything. Oh. They don't, so they don't, they don't care anyway. Exactly. Like the, 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 the power bank I use mm -hmm. and most of our, our, our gadgets in Nigeria, oh. they are being manufactured by Nigerians. Oh, nice. That's nice. Exactly. That means it has opened job opportunities in your exactly. country. Ah. So they take the concepts, they go manufacture it and bring it. Our Nigeria, when you go to place like in Ibo land, our, our, the car yeah. they drive over there is made in Nigeria. In oh, see motors, in see motors. It's made in Nigeria, manufactured in Nigeria, everything in Nigeria. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, like, uh, that's, that's the kind of person, should go actually. Exactly, this kind of person, you, you hardly see them on public. They don't even care about your public. Uh, public is the Western thing. Nobody, some Nigeria don't care about those Western uh, sure. validations. Yeah, sure. They have to grow in themselves. Uh, nice. We shouldn't care. That's why you see from people. Mm. Try to get Grammy, yeah. Oscars. Those are white. Let a white person try to get hip, t uh, uh, hip TV award. Yeah. We're also looking to get theirs, but sure, sure. we have to organize, recognize ours yeah, and sure. embrace ours. Yeah. They don't put so much importance in their uh, in this, you know. uh, But for them, you know, they have for maybe for the BET, they usually say black. So black is permanent TV. Yeah, yeah that's what they say. It. And I, that, I think Nigerians, Nigerians also have issues with them. They say. In an international category. Uh, and I said, no, don't do that. Uh, put us in that list of the, the list, not put international categories. Yeah. Best songs at put Nigeria. Don't put, because Nigeria will have this pride of what we want to yeah. give it to us. Don't give anything. Yeah, sure. That's like if you say Nigeria, man, the, the, the after, like for Bonabo, for example, now, yeah. if you, even if, if, like there was, there was a show in uh, in abroad, mm -hmm. this is uh, the Coachella show. Yeah, yeah. Bonaba was invited, mm -hmm. but they did the poster. Mm -hmm. They put Jeko mm -hmm. and uh, Jeko as one of the uh, um, American artists. Okay. They, their names, they wrote it very bold. Bonaboy name was small. He said, no, no, I can't go. Yeah. I have to put my name very bold. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's Nigeria for you. You have to make yeah. it bold. Yeah, so that people don't disrespect me. Disrespect I work them. hard for my destiny. Yeah. That's a Nigeria, so I have to give them what belongs. What so he dropped what. the contract. They have to be bold in it. They yeah. don't have poster. Again. Yes. Ah. Because you're important to them. Yeah, they have sure. to respect you. If not, yeah. they will not respect you. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And if not, they could not have asked you to come, actually. Exactly. If you're so, not important, they will not ask you to come. Yeah, sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Ah, and actually, Banaboy Big Up, he has yeah. been doing so well. Yes. Uh, doing uh, African Giants. Uh, 80,000 at London Stadium. That was right. huge. Imagine. That was Even uh, this O2 Arena, yeah. people spend months to sell out. Yeah. Whiskey sold it out in minutes. Sure. Minutes. Because he performed it like five times. Mm. He did a five show there in, in less than a month. Mm. So he was selling the thing. That's imagine 20,000 capacities. He was selling it out. So if we can do that, put that weight, yeah. even better than what American artists yeah, will do. Yeah. So you have to give us our respect. Yeah, sure, sure. It's very important. Sure, sure. Ah. Yes, guys. Oh, you're, well, learning, this, you're learning so this much. This story is too much. That's yeah. two hours. <laughs> <laughs> guys, let me go and check my you know. Okay. I will see you guys later. Okay. So if you're, if you're watching this channel, you can least subscribe to the channel and. Uh, so many post notifications, so it gets into 10,000. I mean, I mean, I mean, are you now? Are you right now, I'm at uh, 378. I'm still oh. at 300, bro. So, so let's, let's get into 1,000 so that you can you can start cashing up Benjamin. I mean, I mean, <laughs> so maybe we shall do even something in your YouTube channel so that you can push. Me. Yeah, yeah, when, when I come back now, we'll do something. No worries, yeah. no worries. So, God bless you, bro. Yeah, man. We give thanks for your appearance on our channel. Yes. We hope we shall continue growing and you shall continue uh, growing. I've followed you on all social media platforms, so yes. I'll be keeping in touch. Yes, Th thanks, only, only. Thanks, thanks for having me on your channel. Welcome, bro. Guys, in case you're watching from him, yeah. You can check me out on all social media with Kenneth Mwache. Yeah, I'll put his link um, down on the description box and I'll put... Uh, yeah, and this. This is my YouTube channel. Yeah. Just scan it and it takes you to my channel directly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just scan that. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. And I'll it. put his link on his on my description box. I'll put your uh, tag, your, your name okay, tag okay. for all social media platforms okay. on the screen so that they, they can follow you easily. Yeah, that would be nice. And, uh, I'll be putting pictures on my uh, Instagram, Instagram oh. so that I can put your... 
I can tag you so I can follow you easily. So no that problem. you can continue uh, as you have said, continue staying together, pushing each other to greater no heights. Problem. No problem. Yeah. I'm, I'm a free I'm a free man. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> All right, guys. Place, man. Thanks for watching. Welcome. I'll catch you guys later. Okay. Ciao.